Everyone expects some props to be destroyed during a film shoot. Every once in a while, though, something breaks that no one expected or budgeted for. These are the costliest things destroyed while making movies, historic toilets and all. When Jennifer Jason Lee watched in horror as Kurt Russell smashes a replica of an authentic 1870s Martin guitar in The Hateful Eight, her reaction was entirely real, because Russell unknowingly destroyed the actual Martin and not the replica. Someone forgot to swap the real guitar for the prop. Lee told Billboard, Kurt felt terrible. He had no idea. When he found out, his eyes literally welled up. Lee was heartbroken. She'd just learned to play guitar on that Martin, and she'd even been allowed to take it home to practice. Before she learned it was a museum piece, Lee had even inquired about the price. She was interested in taking it home once production was done. Martin Guitar Museum director Dick Boak told Reverb that the museum, quote, will no longer loan guitars to movies under any circumstances. Skyfall, the third James Bond movie to be filmed in Istanbul, might be the last film there after a stuntman crashed a motorcycle into a 330-year-old jewelry shop. The opening chase sees Bond pursuing the villainous Patrice across the rooftops of Istanbul. It culminates in a dramatic crash through a breakable prop window into the tight, vibrant corridors of the Grand Bazaar. What you don't see is the immediate aftermath. Swerving to avoid packed throngs of extras, the stuntman lost control of his bike and smashed right through the real crystal glass window of a historic jewelry shop. It's incredible how much preparation went into this scene and how things went awry anyway. Production manager Menderes Demir described the process to the guide Istanbul. Before shooting, we had to negotiate and convince 1,650 shop owners in the area of the Grand Bazaar, the Spice Bazaar, and in between. The crew also had to secure countless permits from Turkey's Ministry of Culture, Transportation Commission, and Istanbul's Police Department. Finally, the stunt was rehearsed several times to ensure it would go off without a hitch. Meet Boybi, the shop's owner, said repairs were costly, complicated, and resulted in lost revenue. He explained to Reuters, This place is regulated by the Council of Monuments. We can't even change our window without their permission. He also revealed the response from Skyfall's production. No one from the movie crew came to ask, what are your losses? We filed a complaint at the police station. In a thrilling scene in Christopher Nolan's legendary 2008 movie The Dark Knight, the Joker and his gang divert and trap a SWAT escort in a tight underpass. They manage to destroy several vans and even a police helicopter. Batman enters the fray in his Batmobile, having just taken out a few parked cars himself. It's a chaotic, exciting sequence, captured with close kinetic camera movements. Unfortunately, according to Shortlist, those camera movements also resulted in the destruction of an IMAX camera. Breaking a camera during production happens. IMAX cameras are in another league, though. The manufacturer typically just rents out their cameras. They're so expensive, most movie productions wouldn't be able to afford them otherwise. How expensive are they? A single IMAX camera costs $500,000, according to Premium Beat. That's right, half a million dollars for one camera. Half a million is nothing to sneeze at, but given how profitable the movie was, that's a cost easily written off. But there was another wrinkle. In 2008, IMAX cameras were very rare. We're talking count on one hand and half a finger left over rare. Yep. Nolan broke just one of four IMAX cameras in the world at the time. Christopher Nolan doesn't have just one destroyed IMAX camera to his name. During production on 2012's The Dark Knight Rises, another IMAX camera was destroyed. The movie centers around a conflict between Batman and Bane, a criminal mastermind who imposes martial law on Gotham City. This culminates in a massive fight on the steps of Gotham City Hall. Catwoman rides the Batpod motorcycle out of the building, down the steps, and directly into an IMAX camera. The motorcycle isn't moving particularly fast, but the stunt woman and the cameraman didn't realize they were on a collision course, and the IMAX camera was knocked right out of his hands. Another $500,000 down the drain. At least this time, the number of IMAX cameras in the world had finally climbed to double digits. Andrei Tarkovsky's 1986 film The Sacrifice takes the cake for accidental destruction. That film burned down a whole house. Twice. To be fair, burning down the house was intentional. Less intentional was the camera jamming. The crew was filming from a distance as flames ripped viciously through the house. 
People hustled about shouting orders before it became abundantly clear what happened. Tarkovsky was filmed covering his face with both hands and moaning. As the house burned uselessly, Tarkovsky said, The last thing I expected was for the camera crew to screw up. The house was rebuilt, albeit a great expense, and the scene refilmed. The movie went on to be a classic. But it's unlikely anyone forgot the moment the awful truth of the first house's destruction was revealed. Joaquin Phoenix has never been afraid to go well beyond what's written in the script. Sometimes that results in an injury to himself, as in Joker, where the actor so embodied his role he dislocated his knee while filming a scene, as reported by ComicBook.com. In The Master, Phoenix's character, Freddie Quell, is thrown into a jail cell adjacent to Philip Seymour Hoffman's Lancaster Dot, sending Quell into a rage. Hands cuffed behind his back, Phoenix thrashes wildly in his cell. He violently throws himself repeatedly into the top bunk bed, kicks at the door, and finally stomps the toilet. The first stomp dislodges it, but the second sends it into the ground where it shatters instantly. Director Paul Thomas Anderson told IndieWire, that unfortunately was a real porcelain toilet. A historic toilet. We could only do it once. Phoenix told the New York Times he drew inspiration from wild animals in captivity that react so viscerally that they often end up hurting themselves. He said, I didn't intend to break the thing. I didn't know that was possible. In an episode from the third season of Battlestar Galactica, Edward James Olmos broke a model ship in an emotionally charged bit of improvisation. Unfortunately, they forgot to tell Olmos that the model ship wasn't a prop, but instead was an original borrowed from a museum. Olmos told the crowd at the 2012 Planet Comic Con, I said, what did you put it in the scene for? I mean, God Almighty, I've just been told that my daughter's dead. What are you, nuts? That original he reduced to kindling? It was reportedly worth a cool $200,000. Check out one of our newest videos right here. Plus, even more Looper videos about your favorite stuff are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.